This video offers a compelling look at the widespread destruction caused by Superstorm Sandy on the Jersey Shore. But these 3D images give a whole different perspective. You have, we have imagery and we have the 3D information at a very detailed level. So literally you have much of the information you can see. Whenever, whatever you can see, it's captured. This is how the 3D images were captured. Dr. Gong and a crew took a van equipped with laser point GPS units on top of it out to Ortley Beach and other hard hit areas of the Jersey Shore last month. The laser equipment scanned buildings and other targets. The data collected offers visual images and details about the scope and severity of the damage, as well as the path of the surge. We can analyze how far would the wave and what, in what extent the damage it, it caused and why some houses survived, why some are not. And these are the questions we try to answer here. And we look at this damage, we come back and look at these damages, and we try to develop models to simulate, and to estimate, even to predict in the future. This technology, called geospatial mapping, isn't new. It's been used to analyze roadways for years. This application, though, isn't typical in New Jersey. However, that may change because it may prove to be a useful tool to help communities map out a smart recovery plan. We can do much faster damage estimating to assess the damage, whether this house is safe to get in or not. And this information also helps the city officials to plan, or FEMA to plan, how to do the the cleanup over there, all these debris over there, in what volume, how much over there, these all impacts the planning, de planning decisions. Rutgers provided the funding for this project, which was a collaborative effort with Richard Stockton College of New Jersey and Ohio-based Wolpert Geospatial Mapping Company. This data has yet to be fully analyzed. That could take several months. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Piscataway.